Surviving the island. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm JC, and this is Surviving the Island. Today, me and Mr. Shifty the Shapeshifter here, we're hunting for something special. That's right. In the last episode, we tamed up a Pteranodon. And this episode, we're going to be using that Pteranodon to up our game even further. That's right. The next step after a Pteranodon is an RG. Because with the RG, we can go ahead and get ourselves to the next level. We can go ahead and pick up some Dodicaruses and some Ankies to allow us to gather resources on an even faster rate. So, join me today on today's adventure as we hunt down an Argentavis. But before we do that, I have a confession to make. In last episode, we tamed up a Pteranodon named Worthless. It was a level 6, tamed out to be a level 10. So, I, I, I believe you guys can understand why it was named Worthless. And my confession is that I murdered him. That's right, I'm a murderer, and when I say I murdered him, I mean I stabbed him in the head with my pike repeatedly until he died. That's because this guy right here, Petrie, oh, my boy Petrie, yep, 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 Petrie, love him, he's an amazing bird, uh, I don't remember what level he was, or she, or he, uh, yeah, he, uh, but... We've been flying around, leveling up. He's a 208 now. He does pretty well. So, yeah. Uh, if you guys have ever seen The Land Before Time, have kids that watch Land Before Time, or were a fan when you were a kid, you'll know where the name Petrie comes from. All right. Um, now let's take a look at my inventory, because I have already made the saddle for our Argentavis. And before we go on our hunt, why don't we go ahead and take a look at whoops, take a look at the requirements needed in order to uh, craft an Argy saddle. So just go up to the search bar, type in Arg, and it should pop up right here. Level 62 you need to be in order to craft it. Basically the same exact things that you need for the uh, Pteranodon saddle, just a little more. Uh, you need 150 uh, chitin or keratin, 185 fiber, 350 hide. All extremely easy resources to get as long as you know where to look and how to get them. Which is not what we're going into, or going into today. Uh, I will eventually be doing a guide on resource gathering, harvesting, and where the best locations are, but that's not today. So let's exit this view. Let's hop on Petrie. And let's go find ourselves an RG. Now, on the island, uh, I'm going to head over to the mountains over here in the center. That is, uh, in my opinion, on the island, the best location to uh, find an RG. So it's going to take me a couple minutes to get over there. And I'll go ahead and bring you guys back when we're done. So stick around, and uh, we're going to have some fun. Can you deal with that? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we have come back. And I do believe, yep, this is the uh, mountain in the middle of the Redwoods. I came across this trap. And I do believe, let's take a look real quick. I might have seen this earlier. Yep, the Drifters, that's who I thought left it. Thank you very much for leaving it here for uh, anybody to use and leaving it unlocked, Drifters. Much appreciated. So there's usually some Argies around in this area, so I'm just going to fly around, see if I can take a look. Oh, it looks like there's one right there in front of me. Let's uh, turn around so I can get a scope on him and see if we can find out this guy's level. Hopefully it's not too bad. Where did he go? There he is. Oh yeah, 120. This is our guy. This is our guy. All right, so we're going to see if we can pull up on him. Get his aggro, get him to hit us once or twice. Oh, looks like he's coming towards us. And got us. Alright, let's see if we can lead him towards the trap while keeping aggro. 
Now, this isn't my uh, my favorite kind of trap for trapping RGs. I usually like to leave enough space in the back of the trap so that I can fly low across the ground and uh, fly my pteranodon in and then out the back, leaving the RG stuck in the trap. But this one, I think I'm going to have to land around the back, hop off, and try and capture his aggro on my on my own in order to get him in here. So let's try this real quick. Where is he? Did... Oh, yep, yeah, he lost aggro. Alright, so let's just run down here, shoot him in the face a couple times, and see what we got. Did I miss that? Or... I don't know, but he's on me. Here we go. Here we go. The hunt... Well, the hunt's over. The chase is on. And it's not me the <laughs> It's not me doing the chasing. Haha. <laughs> All right, come on in, come on in, so you can be my best friend. I'll shoot you in the head, and you be my best friend. Oh, whoa! No, you're supposed to be in there. All right, get away from Petrie. Get away. Okay, you're not. Okay, shoot you. No, really, off the cliff. That's all right. Let's get back up here. One jump. Two jumps. No. All right, look, really? Come on. Sarge is going to kill me right here. Shifty, give me a hand up there. You got four of them. Jeez. All right, let's... This this isn't working out. Hold on. All right, yeah, I can get up over here. Sweet. All right, so let's see if we can drag his aggro back to the front of the trap. Ooh, he's coming. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Second try. Let's see if we can get him in the trap and get that door closed, because I need me a new friend. There we go. He's in the... Don't you dare turn around and go towards that door. All right, all right. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Close, 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 close. Yes. Got him. Got him. All right, this guy's in the trap. We're going to go ahead and shoot him in the face a couple times. Maybe I'll shoot him in the butt once or twice. Not too sure, but... We are going to knock him out, and he is going to be our new best friend. All right, guys, I'll bring you back when this guy's ready to go. All right, we ended up getting some meat. We killed uh, a real low-level Bronto. We got some prime meat in his inventory right now. He's almost tamed up, and I am so excited to have our very, very first RG. Oh man, this is, opens up so many doors. Um, and as I was looking down here, oh, there's another RG. Maybe we'll get two RGs in one episode. That would be fantastic. Ooh, there's a Dodicarus too. What level is this Dodicarus? A level 156 Dodicarus. Oh my goodness. This might have to be a thing, ladies and gentlemen, while we wait for the RG to tame up. I think this might have to be a thing. I don't think I can turn this down. So let's go. These guys usually take a little bit to, uh, to knock down. But we're going to give it a try. we got to get it away from that other RG, though. So let's see if we can lure it up here a little ways. Can we tame ourselves an RG and a Dodic in one episode? Are you just going to get stuck right there? Come on, no, 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 no. You don't get stuck right there. Can you make it? Oh, you're faster than I expected you to be. Can't make it up here though, haha, <laughs> stupid. Take another dart to the face. Okay, there we go. Get right up. Hey, Shifty, get back here. You don't want none of that. The guy will tear your head off with that big ball of spikes on the back of his ass over there. Are you running? No, 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 no. It's not time for you to run. Not yet. 
Now you want to make sure, if I can get it, when you are shooting these guys, you want to make sure you get the soft side. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I've been sick. But yeah, you want to make sure you get the soft side of their underbelly or their head. Stop running down the cliff, man. Because I believe their shell, they only take uh, like a certain percentage of torpor. Like 25-50% of the torpor that they normally would take. Come on, just go down, man. I really don't want you to get anywhere near this other RG, bro. The further down this mountain we come, the more dangerous for you, things become for you, not for me. Because I'll just run away. I'm faster than you are. Oh! That only did five damage, bro. Come on. Back up the hill. Let's go. Follow me. I wonder if this RG is tamed up. Maybe we could just take you right in the trap. Hmm. It's a good thing I already made the RG saddle and I have one cryopod on me. Because I'm going to have to cryopod this pteranodon. Oh, it looks like the Argentavis is tamed up. Wait, where's... No. Did you lose aggro already? Hope I brought enough darts. I definitely didn't bring any narcotic. That's... I screwed up, and these guys have a torpor that drops extremely fast. So I'm going to have to be on the hunt for berries, berries, berries. Come on. Just go down, dude. Stop fighting the inevitable. Do I got to try and herd you back up the hill? Yep, turn. Back up the hill. There we go. Good job. You're learning. I don't like the fact that that other RG's right there going up the hill. It's probably going to spot my uh, Pteranodon and be a jerk about it. Man, the glare on this island is ridiculous, dude. Like, they should definitely... I mean, this is the very first map. They're not going to make any changes now, but... They should get rid of that. That sun is overbearing. And he's down, ladies and gentlemen. We have knocked out a level 156 wild male dodicarus. And now we need to tame it up. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of getting all this stuff swapped out. The Pteranodon cryo, the saddle on the RG. Get some spikes up around that guy and we will be back. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we are back and uh, it just so happened that I had some extra uh, kibble left over from our Pteranodon tame in the last episode. And that, lo and behold, is exactly the kibble that the Dodicaruses prefer. Now if you guys don't remember from the last episode, you can get uh, regular kibble by using a medium egg, cooked meat jerky, two long grass, two salve root, and five uh, fiber with a water skin inside of a cooking pot. Uh, I'm not going to go over all the dinosaurs that you can get the medium egg from. Actually, you know what? I will. Uh, you can get medium egg, I believe, from... Uh, let me see. Anki, Baryonyx, uh, the Carno, the Dimetrodon, the Diplo, Ithiornis, Iguanodon, the Capro, the Kentro, the Pachyrhinosaurus, the Pelagornis, the Scorpion, the Sarco, the Stegosaurus, the Terror Bird, the Thorny Dragon, the Trudon, the Volanosaur, or the uh, Turtle. I believe those are all the dinos that lay medium eggs. So, yeah, we're just sitting here waiting for him to tame up. Shouldn't be much longer. But while I am going over all this kibble information, I did not go over the kibble information with the... Uh, um, the RG, I'm sorry, I, my mind slipped there, for the Argentavis. So I'll go ahead and fill you guys in on that. The uh, Argentavis, unfortunately, I didn't have any. I just had to use some uh, prime meat. But it takes superior kibble, 
which uh, is it's made with a large egg, prime meat jerky, citronol sap, rare mushrooms, fiber, and water skin. The large egg you can get from the Allosaurus, the RG, Mantis, Megalania, Megalosaurus, Moss Chops, Snow Owl, Spino, Tapihara, or the Titan Boa. Um, so those are all the dinosaurs if you're creating a kibble farm. One of those in your kibble farm will, or your egg farm, will produce large eggs for superior kibble. And it's crazy that uh, since they've redone the uh, kibble work that there's just there used to be so many more like each dinosaur basically used to produce a kibble and you used to have to like tame every dinosaur that laid eggs in order to tame certain dinosaurs but now the superior kibble can be used for multiple dinos the aloe the rg the beaver the daodon the dire wolf the dire bear the dunkle t t what the dunkle uh, gas bags, mammoth, megatherium, megalosaurus, or megalosaurus, uh, the parasitarium, the plesiosaur, the megalodon, the snow owl, the tapihara, and the woolly rhino. Those are all dinos that can be tamed with the one uh, type of kibble, superior kibble. So let's take a look real quick, see where his taming is. Oh man, yeah. He is almost there, ladies and gentlemen. Today has been an amazing episode so far. Uh, we have got ourselves a 180 Argentavis here, and we have ourselves a 156 Dodicarus here. Uh, looks like he's going to tame out over 200 with the plus 77 level since we're using uh, Kibble. He's going to be getting the max effect. Oh, there he is, ladies and gentlemen. We've done it. We have done it. I'm not going to name him anything. If uh, you guys have a name for this Argentavis, or this uh, Dodicarus right here, go ahead, leave the name in the comments. And uh, if I actually get any comments on this video, <laughs> I will uh, choose between one of the names. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this guy right here. And we're going to head back to base. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and probably end the episode here because, I mean, it's just been a great day. Look at us, all of us. We got me, Shifty the Shapeshifter. The RG and the Dodicarus flying off into the, well, not really the sunset, it's behind us. We're flying off to somewhere, though. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for sticking by uh, my side through this journey. I'm JC. Have a great night.